Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. Today I'll guide you on how to use Google Sheets in workflows. We'll create a sample workflow consisting of scraping profile and auto-connect automations. Let's get started. First, head over to Workflow. And what we will do is we will add the Google Sheets automation. From the top right corner, select Integrations and then Google Sheets. Choose Sheet Input. To start configuring the Sheet Input node, double click on it. Select your Google account that you would like to use or connect a new account. Hit open Google Drive to select the spreadsheet that you want to use. This will pull up a list of all your spreadsheets. Select your spreadsheet and hit the select button. If your spreadsheet has more than one sheet, for example, sheet one, two, three, etc., you would need to select which exact sheet you want to use over here. In my case, I have only one sheet. A very important step in formatting your Google Sheet is to ensure that each column has a header. I will show you my spreadsheet over here. This allows you to map each column correctly to the specific automation fields. In this case, I have only two columns and I have a header for each one of them. One thing that you will notice here in the setup of this node is the loop option. The loop option allows you to run the automation continuously after your entire Google Sheet is processed. Once the last row is processed, the loop mode will restart the automation and it will run continuously. Once we have set up this node, let's go ahead and configure the LinkedIn scrape profile node. We'll select the automation from here. Okay. We double click to set up this node. Here you can map the profile URLs with the respective Google Sheet headers. Let's go ahead and select the correct header. In my case, this is P URLs. Okay, this node is set up. And finally, we need to set up the last node, which is LinkedIn Auto Connect. Let's go ahead and select that. I will search for it. Double click to set it up. Here, select the LinkedIn profile URL. And you can insert a message if you would like to. This node will use the URLs from your Google Sheet to auto connect with LinkedIn profiles. And we can go ahead and run the workflow once we have set it up. Understanding the automation limits in workflows. In workflows where you have more than one automation, it's important to remember that the lowest automation limit applies. For example, if your sheet contains 100 rows, but your scrape profile automation has limit is 10 and your auto connect 
automation limit is 20, the lowest limit, which is 10, will apply automatically. This is designed for convenience and productivity, as applying the highest limit for each automation would result in lengthy processing times and would reduce productivity. And that's it. Using Google Sheets and workflows with Texo is a powerful way to automate and streamline your tasks. Explore these options and see how they can improve your workflows. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.